Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth episode of Under the Skin. This series is all about taking a look at the meaning behind the names of the legendary skins in Battlefield 1. I'm your host Christopher, the video game historian, and on this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at the skins for the M1909 Bene Merci light machine gun, the Gewehr 590, the Shea Regatti, and the Automatico M1918. Sticking with the support class first, the first skin I'm going to take a look at is the Fos for the M1909 Bene Merci. This skin is named after General Ferdinand Fos, who was the Allied Supreme Commander during the Great War from March 1918 until its end. Prior to that, he had served in the Franco-Prussian War, joining in 1871. He was enrolled in the French Army College École de Guerre, where he would later teach and eventually become its director from 1907 to 1911. During the war, he was given command of the French 9th Army during the First Battle of the Marne, and due to his success at Nancy, was promoted to the commander of the Northern Army on the Western Front, which he held during the Battle of the Somme. In 1918, Henry Pétain would promote him again to be his Chief of Staff before being made Supreme Commander. During the Second Battle of the Marne, he helped in stopping the German advance and gave the push for a counterattack, which helped win the war for the Allies. He would accept the German surrender on November 18, 1918, and was a major player during the Paris Peace Conference after the war. The skin for the Gewehr 590 is the Edelweiss. Typically, this is a commonly known mountain flower that can be found in the Alps. However, in the context of World War I, the Edelweiss is actually referring to the German Alpine Corps, which for its symbol is the Edelweiss. The Alpine Corps was announced by the Prussian Ministry of War on May 20, 1915 and officially created the day after under General Lieutenant Konrad Krat von Delmensingen. They were created to help reinforce the Austrians once Italy broke off relations with them and were deployed to southern Austria in Tyrol to help defend that southern sector. Since Germany was not yet at war with Italy, they could only stay on Austrian territory. They would help the Austrians to defend against major offensives by the Italians at Koldilana, Kreuzberg, and other sectors. As a symbol of fraternity, Erzurzog Eugen had one of the troops of the Alpine Corps to wear an Edelweiss badge, which they did so over the left ear. Authorization of this badge was given by the Kaiser himself in September, and the Alpine Corps would be present at Verdun, the Somme, Alsace, and Flanders throughout the rest of the war. The Shea Regatti is probably one of the most underrated weapons for the medic class, as it's typically outshined by the Mondragoon. However, that isn't stopping me from talking about the skin for this weapon, the Duke of Aosta. This skin is named after the Duke himself, Emmanuel Philibert. Born 1869, the Duke was not only the son of King Amadeus of Spain, but also cousin of King Victor Emmanuel III of Italy. More importantly, however, is that he was a general in the Italian army and commanded the Italian Third Army. His most notable achievement in the war was his success in capturing Gorizia in August of 1916 while establishing a bridgehead across the river. At Caporetto, he was able to salvage a defensive line which was nearly collapsing by ordering a retreat across the Tagliamento. During the final battle of Isonzo, he was able to regain the land that they had lost the year prior. It is said that he was never defeated in battle on the field and as such earned the nickname Il Duca Invito, or the Duke's Invitation. After the war in 1926, he will be appointed as Marshal under Mussolini's fascist regime. His son Armadeus will succeed him in his title while also becoming the Viceroy of Ethiopia. Philibert will die in 1931. Finally last up is everyone's favorite gun, the Automatico. The skin for this weapon is called the Savoia and actually refers to one of the oldest royal families of Europe. Founded in 1003 by Umberto the White-Handed, who had acquired territories in the Savoy region of the Auvergne Rhone Alps, given to him for military services rendered under Emperor Conrad II. He would be anointed as Count of Savoy and with marriages to powerful French heiresses and additional land acquisitions, the House of Savoy would quickly expand in its prominence. By the 15th century, the house would gain the title of Duke of Savoy, and when they sided with the Habsburgs when the French attacked, were rewarded with the Kingdom of Sicily, which they then traded for the Kingdom of Sardinia. 
which they would rule until 1861 when they were made Italian monarchs. It would be under Victor Emmanuel II in which Italy would become a kingdom. The Savoy kings were not well received as Victor Emmanuel III, king during the time of World War I, had to abdicate his throne shortly after the Second World War due to his support and involvement with Mussolini and the Nazis. His son Umberto II would hand power over to the first Prime Minister of the newly created Italian Republic. Facebook. Until next time, see you on the battlefield.